All right, so before we get into this next video, I just want to give a, a disclaimer that this is actually a video that I um, I took from one of my other courses. You know, I have lots of courses on music production and different things of that nature. And this course particularly um, was, was sharing some of the same things uh, on audio formats. And so I wanted this to share it here. It's in Logic, the, a course called Logic, but um, the same principles apply here. Um, so when you have 44,100 um, hertz, as far as a sample, uh, samples per second or whatever, compared to 48,000 hertz or samples per second, um, it, it goes over all those different things. You know, it's, it sounds real technical, but once. All right, y'all. So we're just moving forward here, man. I'm just going to go ahead and go over the different audio formats, dithering, all that good stuff, just to kind of show you. Um, this is primarily in Logic, but I mean, in any of the other. <clears throat> programs they have a lot of these same options but anyway let's say that we're done with the track here everything is completely mixed and mastered or mixed to your liking um structured the way you want it it's hitting everything like that and you're done with the track right what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to bounce okay The cool thing about um, the cool thing about Logic is you can do a lot of different things all at the same time, right? Or this way. I kind of have already had some um, some things set up here. In here, you would want to name your track. All right, and this is another little key. When it comes to naming stuff, I always put like underscore and then put what it is afterwards just because, see, say if you want to, um, you know, do a search on your computer for something, then it's easier to find your track. So we'll just say, make banging beats in HD underscore. So say if I wanted to find all, all my files that have to do with make thing and be some HD course on my computer, all I have to do is type this in right here and eventually I'll come to key to, key to bangers and I'll, I'll notice the beat right here, okay? I usually never save it to um, to my bounces. The reason why, because I found it, I have, I have personally found it easier to find and locate my tracks when I just put it straight on the desktop and from the desktop I can just put it wherever I want to. So I always go ahead and go to the uh, to the desktop. All right. See, so yeah, you just put it right here. Bam, desktop. So again. I, uh, a I F F is really the same thing as a wave. It's a lossless file, Kodak, you know, lossless file, right? Meaning that you're not losing anything or hardly any of the quality. Right? And the great thing about the A I F F is it's specifically for It's specifically for um from from Mac computers or or, or Apple OS um, system type system. So if you're just using this file for, for for with it for your own personal use, say if you wanted to, to bounce it down, but you wanted to keep all of its quality so that you can maybe um put a you know bring the levels even up higher in another uh program or something you know or take out some eq and off the you know eq the whole track or you like how some of the uh effects sound in a different program you want to just affect put a effect that goes to the whole track and you're working in logic use the aiff if you're trying to send this file to a mixing engineer or you someone brought your beat online or whatever you know do the wave remember resolution Remember what I was telling you now, most of these 24, uh, most of these um, iPods, different play, you know, players, music players online and everything, they just don't have the 
capacity yet to be able to handle the 24 bit um you know files and so you always want to stick to 16 bit the 24 bit files um be honest with you don't sound too much better than the than the 16 bit you know it's it's a slight difference remember on a sample rate you know what i was telling you you know the, the higher you go most of you can't really tell and it's also adding too much you know, white noise is making the track too big so um this is a good medium usually between the 44 uh 100 k here um and order 4800 or 48 k hmm. um, but it's a rule of thumb always because look this is cd format bro just put it right there don't worry about this dithering none why none remember dithering is only for if you're going from a higher bit rate to a lower bit rate that's when you're dithered that way you keep the quality remember okay so let's come over here and we're going to do mp3s now i used to you know this is something that you could get um, confused about remember you know for a beat you're not going to have to worry about that the beat is always going to be in stereo so here we go we're going to all right so for for a good quality right here you can always put the 256 but standard on most players is going to be the, the 128 Quality highest, I always put it at the highest. Why put it at the low, lowest, or medium? You know, it's highest. Use best encoding. So you want to use the best for everything. Filter frequencies below um, 10 hertz. Yeah, you want to filter frequencies below 10 hertz. Why do you think you want to do that? Let's go, let's go ahead and kind of ask a question here, even though you can't respond. I know that, you know, you would ask that. Because I would, I would ask that. Um, and I'm a producer just like you, you know what I'm saying? So we kind of think alike. Why? Because remember back in the frequencies course, part of the course, the human hearing range is only between 20 hertz and 20,000 K. All right. Hertz. So basically, you don't even want to bother with anything below that. I mean, come on now. You can't even hear it. Most in, nobody can hear below that, man. If there is a person. OK, wow. There's one or two people in the whole world, probably, you know what I'm saying? And they're not going to get a kick out of hearing those 10 hertz. This is adding extra noise to your track, which is actually ultimately messing up your, your vibe. Um, so you want to do the st joint stereo here. Write ID three tags. Remember, this is going to be something great for if, say, I, I, I was telling you before. This this is... um. This is a great way for you to um, market yourself as well, man. Yeah. Excuse me. You can put right here. Or for you, you know what I'm saying? It might be like go to So when someone puts that in their iTunes, so you give this away as a free um a free iTunes, a free free download. They put it in their iTunes, iPod, whatever. Guess what's gonna come up? Yeah, that. So you can add it to your iTunes library if you want. That's a cool thing. Um, and then, like I said, the cool thing about this is you can do this all at the same time. I'm just going up to our desktop, and you click bounce, and then it will bounce it out. And you have the two tracks. I mean, that's it's that simple. Okay. Uh, look, man, thank y'all again for, for for vibing with me, man, working with me and, and getting this program, man. I know it's going to take you to the next level, and I know that y'all going to become better producers. Your sound is going to increase, man, and you're going to be able to do it fast, man. It's, it takes a little bit of dedication, a little bit of hard work, and you, you know, you can go to the next level, man. And 
trust me, man, I already know you got the fire member, member man. And I just want to encourage y'all, man, to, to stay in this thing for the long haul, man. Again, stay in it for the long haul. Um, it's easy to run for a few years, and I can't tell you how many producers I meet, man. There are people who are still making beats, but they're kind of not. They're doing it as a hobby now. You know what I mean? They're not taking it serious, man. They're not. They're not keeping their ear to what's new in the industry. They're not um, practicing their beats anymore. They're not, you know, buying programs like this so they can get better and increase the, you know, bet better their sound. I mean, they're not, you know, somewhere in between. They kind of lost their dream, man. People can use family for excuse all the time, but what about the people who have family who were homeless and then all of a sudden they still came and made it? What about those people, man? Follow your dreams, man, but do it with God, man. God got your back. All right? Peace. Love y'all. Appreciate it.